In this example, I need to solve the following equation on the interval 0 to 2 pi. What type of equation is this? Notice I have trig functions present and the highest exponent on any trig function is a 2. So this is a quadratic trigonometric equation containing two different trig functions, the tangent function and the secant function. The first method we always try to use when we solve this type of equation is we try and factor out a greatest common factor. Will that work in this case? No, there's no common factor. So now what we're going to have to do is try and rewrite this equation in terms of just one trig function. Do you know a trig identity that will relate the tangent function to the secant function? Hopefully you remember the Pythagorean identity tan squared x plus 1 equals secant squared x. So I can replace my tangent squared x with, if I subtract 1 from both sides, I'm going to get tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. So rewriting this equation, instead of tangent squared x, I'm going to get secant squared x minus 1. Then the rest of my equation plus secant x minus 1 equals 0. Now all I have is just one trig function, the secant function. So neatening this up, I get the secant squared x plus secant x, and then I have negative 1 added to negative 1, which is negative 2 equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation in the secant of x. It's a fairly simple one, so I'm going to factor it by trial and error. Multiply to secant squared x, I just need a secant x and a secant x. Multiply to a negative, I need opposite signs. And they add to a positive. So two numbers that multiply to 2, I need 1 and 2. But since it adds to positive 1, I need my 2 to be positive and my 1 to be negative. Let's double check, foil it out, secant squared x, negative secant x plus 2 secant x is plus 1 secant x, and finally minus 2. So now I've factored it, we set each factor equal to 0, secant x plus 2 equals 0, and secant x minus 1 equals 0. From the first one, subtract 2 from both sides. I get secant x equals negative 2. And now using the reciprocal functions, remember the secant of x is just 1 over the cosine of x equals negative 2. I'm going to turn that into a fraction by dividing it by 1. Cross multiply. Cosine x times negative 2 is negative 2 cosine x equals 1 times 1 is 1. Divide both sides by negative 2. I get the cosine of x equals negative 1 half. Now from the second one, add 1 to both sides. I get the secant of x equals positive 1. Using the reciprocal function, secant of x is 1 over the cosine of x equals 1 over 1. Cross multiply, that gives you the cosine of x equals 1. So now we're ready to use our unit circle. Here is our unit circle. And remember, for all points on the unit circle, the x-coordinate is the cosine of the angle theta. The y-coordinate is the sine of theta. 
So in the first one, I need the cosine of x to be negative a half. That means that x coordinate has to be negative a half. Since x is negative, it means I need to be in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. Here, x is negative a half when my angle is 2 pi over 3. So my first solution is 2 pi over 3. And my second solution is here when x equals 4 pi over 3. So there are two solutions to this equation. And the last solutions come from when the cosine of x is 1. That means that x coordinate is positive 1. That occurs only in one point on the unit circle right here at that point, And that is when x equals 0. So this equation has three solutions in the interval 0 to 2 pi.